Kids Comics. Superhead Bronze Age Babe here yakking about her comic book collection and today a very short video in honor of the fact that I just crossed the 300 subscriber number on this YouTube channel. I can't thank you all enough. Um, I, I started this thing about a year ago and I had absolutely no expectations of anybody other than maybe a couple friends and uh, one or two straggler family members watching this, but um, I really have enjoyed this and I've really enjoyed talking with all of you uh, in the community. And so in honor of that, I'm going to talk about this book. This is Superman number 300. Um, I'm not actually going to talk about the story because you should all find it and read it. It's fantastic. It basically reimagines Superman's origin story so that he falls to earth um, in 1976, uh, the year that this book came out. Um, and uh, it involves the Americans and the Russians and some unknown third <laughs> country, uh, and it ends uh, with Superman kind of revealing himself in the year 2000. Um, but what I want to say about this book is uh, what it means to me personally. I um, This came to me in my subscription back in 1976, and... Um, even, you know, the moment it arrived, they had made a big deal out of the fact that the 300th issue is going to be, you know, a collector's item and super special. And indeed, it is and was. And when I poured through it, I just, I was happy as a clam with it. And um, back in those days, I, I knew I was going to keep uh, the books and the Superman collection in particular. And I've said this before, I... When it came in the mail, I was like, oh my God, this is going to be such a collector's item. I am going to be rich someday when I sell it. Um, and of course, I couldn't keep my hands off of it. It's still in okay condition, but um, I think what I, I want to say about it is that, um, you know, this came out in 1976. And when this, when I got my hands on this that day, I would have been 15 years old, and that would have put me in, what, a uh, sophomore in high school? And I am here to tell you that being a sophomore uh, girl in high school meant that no one in my high school knew I had this, or coveted it, or loved it, or read it. Um, back then, uh, you know, 1976, things were getting awful cynical in the, uh, in the society and in the zeitgeist. And to um, actually uh, admit to others that you liked comic books, um, it just would have been a death knell <laughs> from a social standpoint. I didn't have much of a social life anyway in high school, but uh, the tenuous bit that I did, I didn't really want to ruin uh, by uh, telling people, God, comic books are, are my jam. So, uh, you know, I wish I could have uh, showed my 15-year-old self uh, this video um, to say, you know what, uh, hang on to this stuff, hang on to this hobby. Uh, it is going to give you an awful lot of joy, and it certainly has. And uh, having subscribers on this YouTube channel uh, certainly is an amazing uh, thing for me, and I'm just delighted. So thank you all so very much, and I'll see you next time.